thumbs are up because I'm having a great day. Put your thumbs up if you're having a great day. Let's look in the basket and see what we're going to read. Today, I'll be reading a book called Tiny Ranosaurus and the Neversaurus by Nick Ward. Tiny Ranosaurus Rex loves his bedtime stories, and because he is the fiercest little dinosaur ever, he especially likes scary stories. The scarier, the better. Tell me a story, Mom, Tiny said when he was tucked up in bed. A scary story. Do you want the one about the scary snort wurgler? asked Mom. That's not scary enough, said Tiny. Then I'll tell you about the ferocious, fire-breathing Neversaurus. Mom said, Tiny gulped. He liked that one. When the moon is high and the night is dark, the ferocious, fire-breathing Neversaurus pads quietly through the streets, said Mom. Gnashing his big yellow teeth, the Neversaurus peers through the windows and growls through the locks, making sure all little dinosaurs are safely tucked up in bed. Even though no one has ever seen the Neversaurus, you must be very careful because if the Neversaurus ever sees a little dinosaur like you out after dark, he... But there, Mom stopped because... Tiny Ranosaurus was already fast asleep. Early the next morning, Tiny made some sandwiches, got out his biggest fishing net, and marched into the garden. Where are you going? asked Mom. I'm going to catch that ferocious, fire-breathing never Saurus, said Tiny. Well, make sure you are back in time for dinner, smiled Mom. Tiny Ranosaurus wasn't scared of anything, and he roared his loudest roar as he tiptoed through the jewel-bright jungle, fishing net at the ready. This is just the sort of place to find a Neversaurus he thought. And then he heard a noise coming from the undergrowth, a rumbling, wheezing noise. Tiny swung his neck. Got you, you horrible, never saw us, he growled, but. Oh, Tiny, said Baby Kong. I was having my nap. Sorry I caught you napping, said Tiny but I'm hunting the ferocious, fire-breathing Neversaurus. I'll help, said Baby Kong, and they roared their loudest roars and pulled their fiercest faces and went on their way. This is just the sort of place to find a Neversaurus, whispered Tiny, as they tiptoed up to the edge of the bubbling sulfurous swamp. There he is, said Baby Kong, pointing to a large horn sticking out of the mud. Flop, Tiny swung his neck. Got you, you horrible Neversaurus, they bellowed. Oh, Tiny, said Dinosaurus, I was having a wallow. Sorry to stop your wallowing, said Tiny, but we're after the ferocious, fire-breathing Neversaurus. I'll help, said Dinosaurus, and they roared their loudest roars and crashed their mighty jaws and went off to find the ferocious, fire-breathing Neversaurus. Roar! We are bound to find the Neversaurus here, said Tiny, after they had wadded through the tall prickly prairie grass and climbed to the top 
of a boulder. They looked all around. There he is, cried Dinosaurus. Tiny swung his neck. Oh no, this is ridiculous, yelled Tiny, getting very grumpy indeed. All they had caught was a rather dozy Brontosaurus munching lazily on grass. We'll never find the Neversaurus at this rate. Let's climb the big volcano, suggested Baby Kong. We'll be able to see for miles and miles from there. So the three friends marched off to the big volcano. The sun started to set as they looked out over the valley. They couldn't see a Nevisaurus anywhere. Perhaps we should go home, shivered Baby Kong. If the Nevisaurus finds us out after dark, he'll... I'm not scared of him, said Tiny Ranosaurus. We've looked everywhere. I don't believe there is such a thing as a silly Nevisaurus, he shouted. But if only they could see what you can see. The ferocious Neversaurus roared his mightiest roar, blowing plums of smoke and coils of fire into the air. Quick, cried the friends, the volcano is erupting. And as the ground shook and the sky filled with flares and flashes and whiz bangs, they scampered all the way down the hill. Good, smiled the Neversaurus. They should get home in time for dinner. Did you find your ferocious fire-breathing never saw us? Asked Mom when Tiny raced into the kitchen. No, complained Tiny. We never saw the never saw us and the never saw us never saw us. But we know better, don't we? The end. Again, the book is called Tiny Ranosaurus and the Neversaurus by Nick Ward. And the message of the day is enjoy dreaming after mommy and daddy tuck you into bed. I hope you enjoyed this story and we'll see you next time, my little